So we're finally back home, following day from No Star Bash. We got us some Starbucks. The Tim Horton stuff was pretty good, but I don't know, I guess I wasn't ordering right and Starbucks is just good. It's always good, I know what I want, so. That's the first thing I did when I got up this morning was a good win and got some Starbucks. So, little shop update. We got a new couch. Gotta get rid of that one. That one's just a little bit bigger. Got it for free from Cindy's dad, so thank you. When you get the Miata unloaded, to do that, we got to fix this corner somehow. I've got my old upper control arm if that's the issue, but I don't know if that's the issue. I'm hoping that's the issue. Hoping there's no like frame damage or anything crazy. So we gotta get this jacked up, get that wheel off, and see what we're working with. Besides that, I just kind of want to talk about No Star Bash because that event was amazing. I was not expecting it to be that fun and to be that much driving and talking to people. Apparently, their events are even have even more seat time than the No Star Bash, which is insane. I really look forward to going over that footage because it was a blast. If you're a drifter, plan to go there next year because it's awesome. The media is amazing, the people are amazing, the drivers are great, the whole crew, the track staff, everything, it's awesome. So definitely, if you can make it next year, you should go. But let's get this Miata jacked up, let's get off the trailer, let's get unloaded, and let's move to the next task. <laughs> well, the upper control arm is not bent. Uh, well, I'll say that. I think the upper control arm is bent, uh, but it's not bent as I thought it was going to be bent. But uh, maybe we can see right here, my knuckle is broken at the bottom. So I guess we're going to get need a new knuckle, but it looks like our subframe is hopefully good. So let's, let's hope the subframe is good. Well, this sucks, <laughs> but it's all right. Just not what I was expecting. A little bit harder of a fix since I don't have that spare part, so. It's okay, I know. Look, Orion's being my comfort dog. <laughs> uh, so now we gotta source a knuckle, try to get this replaced and get this thing off my trailer. So let me see if I can go find a knuckle. Update, got the knuckle off-ish. Um, this bolt is bent, obviously, so it's not coming out of the bushing properly, so I'm gonna have to slice it, knock it out. Um, also, I think we sourced a knuckle. Cam and Cody have a parts car that they've been robbing parts off of, so it looks like I will now be robbing some parts off of it. They've got a knuckle for me, so I'm gonna head up there and go get that after I cut this bolt off, get everything off, ready to go. So when I get back, I'm gonna just throw it back on, get this thing off the trailer before it rains, because it looks like it might rain today. Let's um, get that cut off, make sure that lower control arm is good, make sure we don't need that, and then head up to Cam's house to get that knuckle. Just got back from cams. We got our knuckle. We also got a lower control arm. Got the lower control arm just in case that one ends up being bad. But we're definitely gonna swap the knuckle for now. We're gonna put my stock uppers on and just get it off the trailer and then kind of go from there, figure out how to fix everything. I'm pretty sure the upper is bent. Uh, I'll show you. It's kind of hard to tell. 
as you can tell it has a slight curve to it to where it got hit so this one is bad it also broke an ear off the little bracket we made for the cam bolt so I'm gonna get one of those made again and modify this knuckle which isn't a big deal it's fine so let's get the knuckle back on there so we can get this car off the trailer All right, everything's back together. And I think the lower control arm should be okay. I can't tell, I can't match it to the other side since you know this side has zero camber. Um, but for the most part, I think we should be good. If anything, I mean, it's not hard to change, but it'll get it off the trailer. That's all I'll worry about right now. So let's get this thing off, get pulled inside. I'm gonna talk a little bit more. Got the car pulled in, everything unloaded. So now I'd like to go over a damage report of the car, things that went wrong, and things we need to fix before our next event. So obviously, we have this damage in the quarter. We won't fix this anytime soon, that'll be a winter project, but we need to fix that control arm. The next damage was this from when we went off track. Tire caught the lip of the fender, put a little buckle there. There's also a buckle right there, and also ate the paint a little bit. So. Not too bad, got really lucky. The other side is good. Probably need to put that back in and roll it properly. And the last issue that we ran into was the gas tank was pressurizing. And as you can tell, the fumes bled onto the paint and ate away the clear a little bit. Hopefully that's not damaged, but we need to fix that. If you watched the last video, you just saw that I was having issues with this gas tank pressurizing uh, once it got below half a tank. And my car would be shutting off mid-drift, which is not good. So, I got a couple of things I need to check. Uh, there's a purge valve, I'm pretty sure, that gets clogged. And then some other ideas that Cameron and Cody came up with is the exhaust is maybe too close to the gas tank and heating it up. But overall, the car did awesome. The engine held up great. I didn't have any hiccups. So... Look forward to end of the season out. We got to fix that control arm. I got Tiller making me the little parts that you weld onto the upper control arm. We'll probably look at the pressurizing of the tank as well. Um, we got National Super Speedway event coming up at the end of October. It's a Halloween event. If you're local, you should definitely come out. To prep for the winter though, we do need to get this water wetter out of here because um, the car will probably be sitting outside most of the winter while we're doing other projects. And if you leave that stuff in there, it will end up freezing. And then the freeze plugs in your block will bust and it's a pain in the ass. You probably pull the motor to fix that. So we need to make sure we redrain that before it gets too cold. But other than that, 
If you like this video, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. I'll see you next one.